Here we have a distance like four strides, but short. It will be 16 and a half meters. To practice sometimes, it's good to make a short distance as well. On a straight line, it's even better to learn because on a broken line, you always can go a little bit out, a little bit in, but a straight line, you have to really be ready that in the straight line that you can correct or to slow down your horse or to take the distance to develop a little bit of stride. And this is, I think, for training is the most important on a straight line to know exactly the stride what your horse is doing. Practicing, again, we start with a small fence. That's why the six and a half meter will be quite normal. Later, when we make the fences bigger, we start to change the distance a little bit as well, not to make it too complicated. I walk the distance once. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You see it's a little shorter, but that's why we want to practice this as well. You know that we are able to control our horse to make actually the part what's coming after the jump to make it as best as possible. We decided to make after the four short strides even the bending line with another three strides. What's even a little bit complicated, not very easy, but it shows as well that a horse is nice and listens correct to the rider to make a nice bending. Now the four short strides and we turn to the right and make the three strides to the vertical. It needs a lot of concentration, but I think it's very good to practice. So now we see that it will help as well when the rider has a good balance. So everything can be quiet, smooth, the rhythm stays the same, the horse is concentrated, it looks very nice. There as well, we're going to practice to do the same from the other side. Good, the horse is waiting. Very nice. Here on the line, we did see the four strides quite short. Then it was not an easy angle on the blue one. And there it's very important that the rhythm that already you start to concentrate early enough on the last fence. Actually, Laura was doing this in perfect. You know, it was very nice to watch the rhythm stay the same. Even from the other side, the blue to the black oxen and then the vertical. First distance a little longer. The second distance was quite short. But it's always how you make the distance. That in the end you have the enough room that the horse can develop. I think it was perfect to make this, uh, to show this. So now we have the other horse. With her, she will do the four and the four strides in the beginning on small fences. We will check now. Here, she stays a little bit on the outside. The four is simple. For the concentration of the horse, it helps in the beginning. Now we're going to see the same from the other side and she will start with the four strides as well. Very good. Very good. So now we will see when the fences will get a little bit bigger, that even then, when you keep the rhythm and everything is in a correct line, that even there, the three strides on the blue will be very simple. So here she starts with the four. And now she go a little bit inside and very simple, the three strides. Perfect demonstration and very nice to watch. Even that after the work, the horse is nice and quiet. Here we will see the same, the three strides first. Good development, control, perfect. Very nice to watch, thanks to Laura.
the same in the turn. When the horse is correct on the control, you can take the time to make the four strides. When you want to do the three strides, it's just keep a little bit more the engine going, keep the activity there, and the stride will come. It's only good when the horse has the balance, the control, but as well that the horse trusts you. And I think trust is a very important part uh, to make good jumping. <laughs> yeah, it's very interesting to see because these were now two very diff different horses. Um, I really have to concentrate on my ground canter, on my ground speed. I really have to think first, okay, how many strides I want to do, is that short or long? And if I have the correct canter, if I have, I have the horses active from behind, then you can do anything you want. And I think in, in the end, you really have to listen and feel what the horse needs because it's exactly what you said. Like if I start with this one, taking all the strides going, then she gets too hot and too much forward. And uh, when the fences get bigger, then it's so easy to do one less. Um, it's just the preparation before the line, which is so important. So yeah, it was uh, really fun for me to jump the two horses with Franke to have a good training. And um, what's very interesting for me to compare the horses was super to practice because I really had to be concentrated and my horses, they really tried the best. They, they really listened to what I wanted from them and uh, it was a pleasure. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much. <laughs>